as we continue to develop and field integrated air and missile defense capabilities, it's important to recognize that the threat landscape has evolved significantly since the inception of our missile defense programs. This evolution of adversary missile and offensive strike technology, including hypersonic weapons and unmanned aerial systems, increasingly holds at risk not only our military installations, but also civilian populations and critical infrastructure. The incursion of the Chinese spy balloon earlier this year also highlights the need for increased domain awareness. We cannot intercept what we cannot see and track. It's critical that we continue to invest in terrestrial over-the-horizon radars and space-based missile warning and missile tracking systems, including the Hypersonic Ballistic Tracking Space Sensor, or HBTSS. I believe the greatest risk for the United States stems from our inability to change at the pace required by the changing strategic environment. Homeland defense must be recognized as essential to contingency plans at home and for power projection abroad, and it is vital that all military planning account for that in reality. In an area of incredible innovation and technological achievement, inflexible, outdated processes are a greater impediment to success than many of our competitors' advancements. Russia and the PRC continue to aggressively pursue and field a number of advanced capabilities, including hypersonic weapons and delivery platforms designed to evade detection across multiple domains to strike targets anywhere on the globe, including North America. Hypersonic weapons are extremely difficult to detect and counter given the weapon speed, maneuverability, low flight paths, and unpredictable tra trajectories. Hypersonic weapons challenge NORAD's ability to provide threat warning and attack assessments for Canada and the United States. I've been an air defender for 36 years, stationed and deployed in the European, Pacific, and Middle Eastern theaters, and I have never seen adversary threat activity, whether that be test or operational use, as great as I see it today. Adversary actions in the space domain are equally as aggressive as they continue to challenge us across multiple space-enabled mission areas, critical to supporting our missile defense mission. To address these threats, we must strengthen our capabilities to deny our adversaries the benefit of aggression. We must continue investment in sustainment of combat-ready, capable, and lethal space and air and missile defense capabilities. 